Hello class, we are now proceeding on the second part of our review in MAPE. And this time we will be talking about our previous lessons or topics in art. And these are the art of sculpture, the 3D figures or the three-dimensional figures. And of course, we will be emphasizing on some of the Filipino artists and their contributions in the Philippine art. But before we proceed on our lesson, I want to remind everyone that this is a pre-recorded uh, part of our review. Now, if you have questions or you didn't understand some of the terms that I've used during the video, I want you to reserve your questions and we will be answering that later after this video ends. Our first topic in art is what we call the sculpture. When we say sculpture, it is the art of shaping figures or designs. So how do we shape figures? How do we create designs? By the means of different process. We have the carving, the modeling, and the joining of materials or constructing of materials to form a figure. And now, the people behind the carving, the modeling, and the constructing of materials that turns into different figures is what we call the sculptor. The sculptor are the artists who create or who does sculpture. Let us now talk about the different process in making sculpture. The first process is modeling. When we say modeling, it is a technique that uses soft materials such as clay or wax to mold the desired shapes. The sample given here is a figure of a turtle that is made out of a modeling clay. The second process of making a sculpture is what we call carving. Carving is done by removing portions from a material like a block of wood or stone until the desired shape is formed. This is the finished product of carving. A human figure. The third process of making sculpture is what we call the joining or constructing materials to form a figure. So the sample given here is a figure of a robot that's, that is made out of cardboard materials that is joined together. This time, we are going to talk about three-dimensional figures. When we say three-dimensional figures or 3D, these are objects or figures that has height, width, and depth like any object in this world. The figure or design made by carving, by modeling, by joining or constructing is usually three-dimensional. Therefore, this figure has thickness. One of the examples of the 3D sculpture is the Taka of Paete Laguna. Taka or paper mache is a traditional craft in Paete Laguna and this art uses carved wooden sculpture or takaan as the mold or the molder. The primary materials for taka are paper and glue. The finished product or figure is painted with primary colors. The common subjects of taka are animals, humans, and other creations. So this taka or paper mache was one of your performance tasks. So I guess every one of you are already aware on the process on how to make one of it. Okay, so it is made out of paper and glue only. This time, let us get to know some of the Filipino artists and their contributions in the Philippine sculpture. First, we have Guillermo Tolentino. He is considered as the father of Philippine arts. He is a Filipino sculptor and professor of the University of the Philippines and was designated as a national artist of the Philippines for sculpture in the year 1973, three years before his death. One of his greatest works is the Bonifacio Monument located at the intersection of EDSA and Rizal Avenue. He is also the man behind the beautiful sculpture of the Oblation at the University of the Philippines since he is one of the professors of the said university. Again, Guillermo Tolentino is the father of the Philippine arts. The next artist of the Philippine sculpture is Napoleon V. Abueva, or Billy as his nickname. He was considered as the father of modern Philippine sculpture. 
He was proclaimed national artist for sculpture in 1976 when he was 46 years old, making him the youngest recipient of the award to date. So, Napoleon V. Abueva is the father of the modern Philippine sculpture. One of his work is the Transfiguration. This sculpture shows Jesus Christ during his Transfiguration. The Transfiguration is when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven from earth. This sculpture is much like the UP ablation of Guillermo Talentino because it has both horizontal and vertical lines, symmetry because of that sculpture looks solid and stable. Another work of Abueva is what we call the allegorical harpoon and was considered one of his best abstract sculpture and is now currently housed in the cultural center of the Philippines. And that is all about the second part of our review in uh, MAPE, which is art and this, the art of sculpture and the three-dimensional figures.